need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. In this lesson, we'll take a look at resume headers. The resume header is the first part of the resume. The function of the header is to provide the potential employer with your basic contact information. Let's create a header for Mary Cessna. The first thing to include in the resume header, obviously, is your name. Remember to keep your font size between 10 point and 12 point. Don't make the common mistake of using a very large font size for your own name. Some professionals find it acceptable to make the name on a resume slightly larger than the rest of the text on the page, but many suggest that doing so sends a subtle message of conceit as if you're bigger than the rest. If you'd like to emphasize your name on the header, you can use boldface type, italics, or you can even use all capital letters to spell your name. Although everything else on your resume should be aligned to the left, you may choose to center your name on your header. If you do so, however, you should also center the rest of your header as well. Your postal mailing address goes immediately underneath your name in the header. If you choose to center your name in the header, you should also center your address. Use your complete address with no abbreviations except for the name of your state and separate the parts of your address using commas. So, for example, Mary would add her address as 123 Fake Street, Anytown, New York, 10001. Although she has abbreviated New York, Mary has remembered to write out the word street. Underneath your address, add your phone number and email address. Where your phone number is concerned, it's always a good idea to include your area code, but it is no longer necessary to separate the area code with parentheses. The areas of your phone number can be separated with dashes or dots, but be consistent. Where your email address is concerned, make sure you have a clean email address to include on a resume and list the email address using all lowercase lettering. Sometimes, word processing programs like Microsoft Word will recognize an email address and the program will automatically apply formatting rules to the text. Usually, the text will turn blue and become underlined. If this happens, you can usually undo the formatting by right-clicking your mouse and choosing Remove Hyperlink from the side menu which appears. As was the case with the mailing address, stay consistent with your formatting. Since Mary chose to center her name in the header, she, she should also center the rest of the information in the header for the sake of continuity. Mary has chosen to use the Calibri typeface, which she will use throughout her resume. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.